The Ace Family Still Won't Pay Bryce Hall There's this video of the Ace Family reappearing out of nowhere and recounting how they lost their home to foreclosure. But something about the way they foreclosed on their house doesn't add up. At the time, I took it at face value, but now I realize that there's a lot that doesn't make up. What did Bryce Hall do? We've all been in a place where someone owes us a hefty amount for a job well done. But the situation between Bryce Hall and Mr. McBroom is quite unusual and peculiar. Actually, the guy owes Bryce Hall a whopping $5 million, which was to be paid out to him in the boxing project, where he was fighting against Austin McBroom. We've cleared everything with the boxing match, or we've pretty much cleared everything with the boxing match, claimed the Ace family at the end of their film. However, it does not appear that Bryce Hall has yet gotten cash from this boxing event, as he has stated that he has yet to receive payment. The boxing event in question is the Social Gloves event, which took place in Miami in June. Several cases are pending against him. Yeah, he was earning something like $100 million, and then he got fined something like $100,000 for that meetup he had for the fight. Then, there's his house, which he truly took. But don't worry about it, he shouldn't have to. Even when they were attempting to get me to come up for the fight, I sincerely stated to them, pay well. I like my team, I said. Are you sure about this? He asked. It's almost as if we need to double check it, as if it's talking to us, as if it's saying, oh man. So many people are asking, are you going to get the entire amount? But hey, I'll get a couple dozen anyway. I'm not sure if I'm permitted to announce when I'll get paid, but you've probably already been paid. So he claims that he has not yet gotten paid, although he did state so. Because things are going quickly, Austin may have been correct. Why didn't they pay him? In the middle of Ace Family's financial woes and Austin McBroom's reported lawsuit, Bryce Hall has come forward to say he is suing the YouTuber Patreon. So, what's the story here? Was it a while ago? It's actually moving quite quickly right now, but as Bryce Hall went on to remark after this, it's actually moving pretty quickly. I'm not sure why he can't get some of these guys to leave him alone. When they take it, they try to make up a new tale about how they took it to make themselves feel better. But at the end of the day, it just makes them appear insecure. Despite the fact that the person who gave him probably has accepted more L's than anybody else in the influencer world. The headline event on the June 12 card featured none other than Sway House star Bryce Hall, who went up against Austin McBroom. Hall mentioned that the project would pay him $5 million plus 4% of pay-per-view revenues. After a month of no payment, the self-described party animal appears to be pursuing legal action against Social Gloves. Hall stated he was in legal talks with the group to recover his lost pay in an interview with Paparazzi from The Hollywood Fix on July 13. Legally, we're talking to them, Hall stated, after claiming to have heard from the organization throughout the financial crisis. When asked if he would be paid, Hall responded ominously, I'm sure everything will come out very soon. Hall added that he intends to purchase his mother a house with his $5 million. Isn't it gorgeous? For the time being, it doesn't appear like we'll hear from Hall again until the situation is resolved. But for the time being, all eyes are on McBroom as the social gloves drama continues to dominate social media. The public component, on the other hand, was something I had to deal with every time I went out in public for two months. Someone might recognize me as a male and say, yeah, you're a wuss when it comes to boxing. Bull would exclaim, Wow. And I would respond. Nice. I'd never get any traction and would always respond badly. It'd be found out. This is simply an example of controversy cells. And most of the controversy you see on the internet isn't real. Or at least it's pumped up for hits, likes and shares. Which is how a lot of these influencers make their money. However, after his boxing match, Bryce claimed to have got almost 400,000 fans. Did any of that help you earn more followers? It gave everything a jolt. That day, I probably gained 400k on Instagram as a result of my loss. We have some doubts about that, I was like a lot of people. I don't believe that. That's what a lot of people are saying, but I kinda believe it. Maybe not from the actual boxing event, because I believe they were short on viewership, but with all of the controversy surrounding the boxing match and the fact that Bryce Hall was not paid $5 million, Bryce Hall was essentially beaten up for free by Austin McBroom. This I believe that drew enough attention to him for him to earn 400,000 followers from this event, but I seriously doubt that his boxing performance did. For whatever reason, Bryce then goes on to defend his boxing talents once more. A youngster appears. Yes, I was eating nachos at the time. That type of altercation would occur on a regular basis. I told the child three times to get out of his car and talk to me if he wanted to, and he said, 
Get out of your car and talk to me if you want to. You can do this. I'm like, Jared, do you have a camera? This would be a sick contact because so many people think I can't box. I don't think anyone cares at this time. Sure, people might be interested if he conducts another boxing event, especially if people approach him and want to talk about it. He should just ignore it because, at the end of the day, who cares? I'm not sure why he wastes his time on this when it doesn't seem like he needs to. Actually, it kind of makes sense because Austin McBroom essentially got to beat up Bryce Hall for free. No payment was made to Bryce Hall. He was effectively humiliated and received no compensation. Why he remained hung up on it is a mystery, but it's understandable. He maintains that he is ready to fight at any time in a random street brawl, which is illogical. Whatever the case may be, it appears that there is a significant amount of risk involved. Because someone wears it, you can end your entire career because of a minor street brawl. I'm not sure what it's called. It's not a cat. It's not cat calling. Instead, it appears as if someone is attempting to provoke a fight with him on the street. It's not like cat calling, but more like attempting to cause a brawl. So, why take the chance of losing your job because of a troll? Because they are similar to street brawls. They don't always go well. There are lots of videos of individuals fighting in the street who wind up in prison or in the hospital forever. I mean, a lot of these street fights end up with someone on life support, which seems like a lot of risk for literally no gain. If you win, you'll almost certainly be sued. What's the upside here? You win the fight, but you lost the lawsuit. By the way, you did say street flying right there. Just to let you know, is it true that I fought logically on the street? It just doesn't add up. But he goes on to state that he wasn't knocked out during the fight, which I thought was odd considering I was there. At the conclusion of the fight, he wasn't really standing. It's reasonable to say he squandered the opportunity. Everyone claims I was knocked out, but I was never knocked out, and there was never a win down. They threw me down and called it a TKO. So it's as if they think without all of this preparation, three months of training at Canelo's gym. He wasn't knocked out, since I obviously know how to throw a punch. He was instead shoved down, and while I get what he was saying, he was only a punch away from being knocked out, so it's a technicality. That's why it was a technical tiebreaker. Finally, Bryce Hall is yet to get compensated for his performance as a headliner. The Social Gloves boxing event, on the other hand, is dependent on how it is conducted. He phrased things in such a way that it appears he will be paid soon, or at least a portion of his payment will be received. I'm not sure if he'll get the full $5 million given that event didn't even earn a profit of $5 million, but I doubt it. So, what are your thoughts on it all? Please leave a comment below to let me know. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on the post notification for more. I'll see you guys in the next video.